Well, good afternoon, Blaine family, and welcome back to the Inland View. I hope that you all are having a nice day. Now, you might notice that I'm dressed a little more formally than I typically do today. That's because we had a funeral service this morning. We gathered and celebrated the life of a beloved member of this congregation. As we shared memories, there were laughs and there were tears. We were encouraged by God's promises in Scripture. And as I sat and I watched the people who had gathered, I was taken by how holy those moments are when, when you get to see people giving one another care and receiving care well during times of grief and transition. I was thinking to myself, what a holy moment. You know, just yesterday, Pastor Will and Pastor Isaac and I sat down with our pastoral cabinet and we talked a little about their ministries and and some of the things that were impactful for them. And I was surprised to hear just how many of them mentioned funerals. Funerals were something particularly special to them, something they're still willing to be a part of. It's funny, it's one of the most difficult parts of our ministries, caring for those who are grieving. But it can also be one of the most fulfilling, one of the most life-giving. It's fundamental to who we are and how we minister as Christians. This afternoon, I went over to the hospital. I was going to visit a patient there. And as I got to the security desk to check in, they turned me away because there was already someone visiting the patient that I had come to see. I had to smile a little because I'm sure it was a member of Blaine out there giving care to a, a brother or a sister in Christ, caring for them, helping them through the transition that they were going through. And I thought, how blessed are we to have such a caring church? Some of the people who do that caring around here are Stephen ministers. Stephen ministers do the hard work of, of being trained and practicing and learning how to listen well, how to choose words that are truly healing, how to be in relationships with people in the best and most helpful ways that they can. But it's a wonderful process to go through. And what people find when they become Stephen ministers is a community of support. They themselves find support in their fellow Stephen ministers. They find that they could do something that they didn't think they could do before. That they can be with people in a way that truly makes a difference. Whether that's with their care receiver or their family members or just someone that they encounter in the community. They learn a new way of being. It's truly a life-changing experience. And I hope that you'll read about becoming a Stephen minister below. See, in February, we're having a training and we're hoping to recruit some more Stephen ministers this year. It's an excellent program. It's a huge help to the pastors and staff here at Blaine to know that there are others who are willing and qualified to give good care to members of our community. And it makes a huge difference. And on the other end of things, we also are always looking for care receivers. If you know someone who might benefit from Stephen ministry, or if you yourself might benefit from Stephen ministry, we encourage you to look for information about that. Contact Jane Sparks or Amanda Carricker and reach out. It can be life-changing. And it can be extremely helpful, whether you're grieving, whether you're going through a transition, it could be something as serious as, as losing a loved one or something that, that you might think is not serious enough, even if you've moved to a new place, if you're new here in Merle's and you're transitioning. If you have children who are going to college and you're finding that change to be difficult, that's what Stephen ministers are there for. They want to be supportive. They want to give you good Christian care and friendship, be with you through your journey. It's an excellent program, and it can be extremely helpful and extremely productive for the life of the church to, to be surrounded by people who give care well and also people who receive care well. It creates holy conversations, and it's been a part of our tradition since the earliest days of the church. I want to read to you today a short scripture from the book of Acts about Stephen himself. This is from the sixth chapter of Acts. About that time, 
While the numbers of disciples continued to increase, a complaint arose. Greek-speaking disciples accused the Aramaic-speaking disciples because their widows were being overlooked in the daily food service. The twelve called a meeting of disciples and said, It isn't right of us to set aside the proclamation of God's word in order to serve these tables. Brothers and sisters, let's carefully choose seven well-respected from among you. They must be well-respected and endowed by the Spirit with exceptional wisdom. We will put them in charge of this concern. And as for us, we'll continue devoting ourselves to prayer and service of proclamation, proclaiming the word. This proposal pleased the entire community. They selected Stephen, a man endowed by the Holy Spirit with exceptional faith. Philip, Procurus, Nicanor, Tom, Hermenius, and Nicholas from Antioch a convert to Judaism. The community presented these seven to the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. God's word continued to grow through them. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased significantly. Even a large group of priests embraced the faith. Thanks be to God.